All right, folks, we are going to do a psych evaluation on Cam, find out what they think of this stuff. Word association should be interesting. I'm in the middle of anything, sir. What? You in the middle of anything? Uh, not especially, no. You mind helping me out with something? Sure. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Edgar, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Edgar. Can I entrust you with some vital tasks? You can. Read this one. So this is official foundation site plus area depth questionnaire. This is required to be filled out by anybody who is close to the deceased at any foundation site. In this case, prior being the deceased, Iris is the one required to fill out all this paper. Yeah. It has very pivotal questions. Did the subject enjoy Brussels sprouts, burritos, butter, cabbage, cacio e pepe, all these kinds of personality questions, along with more, you know, down to fact stuff like did the disease pass from natural causes? Did the disease pass due to any previous list of conditions? Well, I guess they forgot to include the conditions there. Anyways, can you deliver this to Iris and tell her to fill it out? I can. Thank All right. You, Eric. Thank you. There was a piece of marker that was said to be under the bed. I mean, you can look around the bed. Like John is doing the same. Uh, can I get your name? A uh, Clay. 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 Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, of course, uh, I'm Iris. I also have a question, Iris. Absolutely. Do you know if these are anything more than just peppermint? I think they're just peppermint. They're just peppermint. I think so. Do you, have you guys ever used them as currency? No. Okay, okay. Just making sure. I no, I understand. Does Dr. Oz do anything to the candy? I mean, to be fair, I just thought Oz was, you know, a medical practitioner in his own ways, but I don't think anything happened with the candy. Iris. You're probably safe, though, to consume it if you'd like. Yes. Edgar sent me something to give to you. It's a death questionnaire about to fill out. Just this? Yeah. I mean, well, there's a lot of questions and pages. He seemed to think it was important that you fill this out. Oh, about my fiance. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry if it's a little... That feels a little inconsiderate. I mean, he was murdered less than 24 hours ago. I don't know why I have to fill out paperwork. This is ridiculous. Have you, have you seen these questions? He was telling me it's very, extremely thorough. Yeah, the question, uh, number 178, was the subject a fan of Treasure Planet? Question 179, was the subject yeah, a, a fan... Great question, great question. Yeah, I love Treasure yeah. Planet. Was the subject a fan of Tron? Oh, yeah. Tron yeah, Legacy, yeah. the Truman Show. I mean... Oh, um, oh. this is a great list. Would, that, know, right? would that help yeah. him figure out... I don't think this is going to help me figure out who the accomplice is, and I think, quite frankly, this is just a waste of time. Um... I don't know what Edgar thinks he's doing trying to make me fill out this questionnaire yes. in a literal emergency, but um, I'll I'm not really it. having it. I'll fill it out for you if, if Edgar needs to fill it. Do we have no those here? here? No. Not that I know of. Oh. Could you take this back to Edgar for me, please, and tell him I'm not filling out his paperwork? All right. Thank I could you. do that. Sorry to bother you. Edgar? What? I have bad news. What? Iris was not happy about this uh, questionnaire and refused to fill it out. No. Okay. Some well, people did offer to fill it out for her, but I don't think... Well, in that case, Iris needs to fill out the official foundation document refusal questionnaire. I, I don't think she's going to want to fill that out either. Well, I'm sorry. You know, Eric, what if we went together? All we right. We'll go together, but I don't think she's going to be happy about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why do you feel like the paperwork has to happen right now? Why do you feel that? I need to have some sort of order around here, all right? Yeah? I need to ask the important question. You're the order guy? You keep the order around? Yes. Hello, Edgar. Iris, you're not filling out the death questionnaire. No, it's ridiculous. That is literally like 50 to 60 pages of stupid questions that don't mean anything. They're not stupid. They're important. Asking you about the Tron legacy, I think, is ridiculous considering he was murdered less than 24 hours ago. It was a great movie. I have more important things to do, like finding out the accomplice. Shouldn't you also be doing that? Need some kind of all right? Well, you're not going to get that from me because this is ridiculous, okay? Well, if you're going to ask let's wait until the end the document refusal question. More paperwork? Is the answer to me not wanting to do paperwork? Yes! No! You need to ask the important questions. Is it getting better? Do you feel the same? No and no, because my fiancé was murdered. You will make it easier if you've got someone to blame. Yes, actually. So if you can help me find the accomplice, then maybe I'll fill out your dumb questionnaire. Alright. That'll be the last you're hearing of me, Good. 
Oh, you tried, Edgar. You haven't tried hard enough. Huh? There is a full collection of SCP paperwork down here. Oh, great. No paperwork. All right, Eric, pick two binders for me. Uh, let's go with uh, this gray one here. All right. Big old thick one. Uh, let's see this little, little black one right here. Ah, lovely. The SCP paperwork regarding procrastination. Very. I know that one well. And the SCP paperwork regarding Sonic the Hedgehog receipts. Why do we have this? I don't know. It must be important. You're Someone. It must be important. I guess we gotta figure out if Carter was a cold steel fan. Ooh, a coat stealer? Cold steel. Cold steel is a somewhat infamous Sonic original character. Ah. Are you going back to Iris? Yes. Is she going to help you with that? Oh, uh, where'd you guys just go? What? Oh, dear. He's got paperwork. He's got a lot of paperwork. Okay, well, I'm... I said no to paperwork twice, and the answer's more and paperwork. And here, listen, I'm trying to find out the apology. You need to okay. fill out the official SCP booklet about procrastination. This is not procrastination. I'm trying to do something important here, unlike someone who's zero job security. These questions are ridiculous. Edgar, really? For the family? What, what? These aren't important for me to fill up right now. Yes, it is! Isn't it a little inconsiderate? The love of my life just died last night. I have a lead. No Can you... And as security, this is, this is your idea of what I'm supposed to be doing right now? I need to do something right around here. I've let a murderer slip by, you know along with his accomplice. Yeah, and that's not my fault, but yet I have to fill out all this paperwork about my deceased partner? Look, I'll do you a favor, and I'll bring this back to your desk for you. Edgar, what? Why did I talk to you about something like what? Yes, uh, sure. I'm sorry, I'm, un I'm unaware of how amnestics work, but I was brought up in a conversation. Oh, I need to know, uh, right. uh are there any symptoms to it? Yeah, yeah. any way to tell if someone's unnecessary? It's not convenient enough, I was just talking to my friend over here. Oh, ah, excellent. Hello. Essentially, the amnestics do give you information. Uh, now, four hours previous to when the injection occurs, or any sort of ingestion, uh, along with drowsiness, delusiness, trouble standing. Basically, if you took like three Xanax, that's what it kind of feels like. Alright, uh, would dry mouth, like cotton mouth, uh, be a symptom? You know, sometimes in rare cases. Good job, Brent, thank you. There's your dumb paper. It's a lot of chaos right now, and I'm trying to untangle something. So, thank you all for joining and hanging out here. Things are heating up. We have a lot of murder mystery to solve. And we're running out of time. Well, Eric, we've got ourselves into quite the pickle. Yeah? What's the pickle? Uh, obviously, Iris doesn't want to fill out the paperwork, so... I think I'm going to write an apology now. Yeah? I just, I want to have some sort of purpose around here. I feel like I'm losing, I'm at my wit's end, just trying to hold it all together. Yeah. I can't believe I let a murderer just slip that right out under my fingers and his accomplice. Yeah, that's, that's kind of bad. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Would you, would you mind helping me, and you too, Aaron, if you have any consultants, help me write an apology letter to yeah. Iris? Sorry, I guess about the paper. It was overwhelming. I, I, I think she was upset that it's it kind of feels uh, inconsiderate of her feelings right now since she lost someone close. Apologize for
over there. They're really attached to those stuffed animals, huh? Yeah, yeah, they are. When you're stuck here for a very long time, you know, there's not many things that make you happy anymore, so... Yeah. So, wait, who wrote the note then? Seems like Izzy wrote the note to prank Rez that really was dead, but really is not dead, and it's the whale she is holding. And now it seems like Jungle Skog is dying? Did Izzy write that? Izzy tell her that? It says it's too red. So it looks like they stole Willie and then faked a funeral for him. That's very strange. Izzy seems very attached to the stuffed animals, though. He is. I guess he's just not friends with Willie. Because Willie is friends stuffed animal. I'm curious about that. If you want to know anything about stuffed animals, Izzy's the person to ask for sure. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. Will do. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.